When al-Baghdadi, a former university professor, took the reins of ISIS in 2010, few had heard of the group or its new leader. As Holly Williams reports, that changed quickly. He proclaimed himself the caliph or leader of a so-called Islamic State. But in reality, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was a hate preacher who presided over a death cult of utter barbarity. With a $25 million reward offered by the US, he was rarely captured on camera. This video, released in April, was his first appearance in five years and his last. It's thought he was born in Iraq in 1971. After the US invasion in 2003, Baghdadi was detained in a prison camp that became an incubator for jihadis. When he was released, he joined al-Qaeda's offshoot in Iraq, rising to become its leader. He later moved into the chaos of Syria's civil war and split from al-Qaeda. At its peak, ISIS ruled over an estimated 10 million people in Iraq and Syria, enslaving women, performing sickening executions and exporting its reign of terror to Europe and the US. In March, the group surrendered its last sliver of territory in Syria. But there are still up to 18,000 ISIS members in Iraq and Syria, according to the Pentagon's watchdog, as well as tens of thousands of accused ISIS fighters and their families in prisons and camps, some unrepentant. At a camp last month, these women defended ISIS terror attacks. This is ISIS ideology, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's it's what not, it is. You're saying that those terrorist attacks yeah, it was were an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth? Basically. And therefore justified under Islamic law? Yeah. That's right. And, an uh, American the, general told us last the month region, in Syria the so fight is far were, from over. Uh, seamlessly. I mean, What's their plan? I think their plan is to resurge and, and continue to uh, try and re-establish their caliphate at some point. They've lost their so-called Islamic yeah, State and now their leader. But ISIS and its ideology are still very much alive. Holly Williams, CBS News, Istanbul.